What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Panini Absolute Football just sold out. This is a six-box half-case break. Pick your teams number three. And here we go. We'll see how fun it'll be come playoff time, Steve. <laughs> I still do not trust primetime Kirk. We have to. We have to. All right, same thing here. Left side, right side. Alright, one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. <laughs> Roll. One. One, two, three, left side. This will be for number four. I'd assume you guys shouldn't have a problem getting a potential free agent to come to Minnesota. Especially when you have Justin Jefferson as your receiver. But, uh, I don't know. I can see them re-signing Kirk. I mean, he hasn't done terrible there. It's just, he hasn't just really won anything for you guys. That's all. You know, either not making the playoffs or just, you know, obviously just not playing well. In those primetime games. I just, I was just really rooting for you guys to do so much better against the Cowboys, and you guys failed me for there. <laughs> like, I was really hoping you guys beat them, or at least, you know, kind of shut up those Cowboy fans, but that was the total opposite. <laughs> I don't know. So... And I didn't watch the game, so I really can't speak on it. It's just, I seen the score, and I was like, damn, this is over. I mean, I know, I know, our, I know our win against you guys was early, you know, but we beat you guys, we beat Dallas, you know, I mean, I just feel like a lot of people just like to diss my Eagles this year, but, hey, same thing the year they won the Super Bowl in 2017. I think a lot of people... Didn't think they'd do what they did, but they did. All right. TJ Watts is 75. They are. But they are, I mean, as you can see, they're missing this guy. And I know he's a rookie, but he made a huge difference in the run game. And hopefully he's back this week. But that's where they had to go sign Joseph and Adamakum Sue. Because honestly, that was like the craziest stat. When he was on the field, they weren't rushing for more than three yards. When he's off the field, they're rushing for over five yards of carry. I mean, he was just that big of an impact. But now he should be back. Obviously, they're still missing Goddard. Goddard is actually one I didn't think would make a huge difference. Because Calcaterra, I think, is a solid tight end. You know, Stoll's a solid tight end. But, I mean, they really missed him these last couple weeks. And not even in the receiving game, more in the blocking end. You know? So. Yeah. I mean, I could have felt the same way in 2017 when Carson Wentz got hurt. Carson Wentz was an MVP 2017. He should have won MVP, honestly. Trayvon Walker. But we were led by Nick Foles. St. Nick. So. I mean, that, that goes f towards anybody, though. If you take Dak out of Dallas, what happens? You take even Kirk, I don't know what happens in Minnesota. You take away Josh Allen in Buffalo, what happens there? You know, you take away Tua. I mean, it's every team has, has obviously, has to rely on their starting quarterback for the most part. Unless you're like the uh, 49ers. 
think that's the only team I'm worried about where it's like Garoppolo doesn't like you don't have to worry about Garoppolo so much because their team is so good in general. You know? Where like Garoppolo just needs to do enough. Whoa. The Duke Wilson football relic there for Zamir White to five. But a lot of people just don't put respect on the Eagles, and that's fine. But if they continue to win, the NFC is going to run through the link, which I don't think is going to be a good thing for anybody. Daniel Jones to 99. And that's Giants going to Brandon. And Jonathan Taylor to 25. Tom Brady, Nick Bolton. We have a Isaiah Spiller. With a Calvin Austin triple relic. Well, to 99. Good question. I do not know, actually. Does anybody know that? Anybody want to pull up Wikipedia? CJ Spiller, though, man. He was great in college. Calvin Cook, not related. DJ Moore, that's Burners to 49. Panthers, Brian. And Jeremy Rucker. Yes, I believe that is correct. Right? That is correct. Michael Carter. He's doing well, man. Leading the Kings in points. I think Goldie still might be behind Fial, right behind uh, Gabe Rivellardi, but he's pretty much like right there already. Nice three-color patch there, Jahan Dotson. That's number to 49. ETN's got a little brother at Florida? Nice. Yeah, it was funny when they sent him down to the third line. Everybody was like, "I don't know how you're paying the guy eight million dollars, but and he's in the third line." But I'm like, dude, it's it was a much better fit for him. Thirteen out of twenty-five, Javante Williams, triple relic. He was scoring more goals on the third line than he was with Kopitar and Kempe, and now he's back with Kopitar and Kempe, and him and Kopitar have actually been scoring goals lately. So I think it doesn't matter what line he's in, whether it's first, second, third. He's, he's still going to be there on the power play, number one. He's going to be there in the crucial minutes. But just because he's not with Kopitar and like that doesn't mean he's not going to produce. He's so talented alone that he's going to produce on you know, any line, you know? Yes. All right, we got John Mechie. Yeah. 
And Sky Moore, Quad Relic. Yes, Kings looked much better yesterday. That previous game against the Kraken on what, Wednesday was nuts, or Tuesday. The 9-8 to eight game, that was ridiculous. It was so bad that they, like, waved Cal Peterson. <laughs> but, uh, they played much better yesterday. Teddy put some Prism Soccer on, but he he's taking the loose boxes, right? Yeah. yeah Just sure. make sure he doesn't take the case. Cause no, 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 no. Okay. Loose boxes. All right. I mean, it's not a bad constellation. <laughs> Free sauce is amazing. But I assume for your wild, I don't really watch him much, but you're going to need another guy to step up or maybe get a new guy soon. Jalen Waddle. Also, right now, Utah is looking very, very, not very good. Mike Williams. Ah, uh, see, that was the one thing with the Kings. They, all, you know, even though they went to go get a Philip Deneau last year and this year, uh, a Fiala. A lot of <laughs> their pipeline, man. The Kings on Terra Rain were like the best like AHL team the last like couple of years with talent. So a lot of them finally now like Velarde and and Kupari and those guys are actually turning out to be great players. But. It doesn't always work that way, right? It doesn't pan out. Mike Williams. Are you guys still paying Suter and Parise? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Mucho dinero. Jahan Dotson. Another jumbo relic for him. This one's to 49, though. And, whoa, sorry about that. Almost dropped that. Uh, Alexander Matheson. Nice little Vikings patch there. Six, 18 out of 25. Vikings going to Garrett. And we got Stargazing Herbie. 25 out of 50. We got Jermaine Johnson. John Matchy. Hopefully he's recovering from his uh, leukemia, I believe, right? That's uh, Houston Texans, Jeff Gordon. All right, halfway through. I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous yet. I'm not nervous yet. I, I will admit, though, if we don't get any case hit here, even a glass or more just like an explosive or kaboom, then I'm, I'm going to be a little nervous for the second half. But I got to believe that we're going to have one here, though, whether it's in this half or the next one. I just will be nervous, though. <laughs> Start with this one. Uh, let her rest. That's probably a long flight, I assume. Alright, Kirk. Thirty-eight out of one ninety-nine. 
That's a long flight. I mean, I think the longest flight I've ever been on was like six plus hours. Be this Jones. To 50. That's a uh, Bears next over. Quay Walker. We have Keenan Allen, triple relic to 49. And whoa, what is this? Flipper Anderson and Henry Ellard. Old school Rams there. One of 25. Historical duels. And that's going to go to Aaron and the Rams. A little Mahomes stargazing. 6 out of 10. Chiefs going to David. A little Arnold. And this is our second Sky Moore patch auto. Different one. I think we hit like a triple or a double relic. This time it's just a single rookie premiere. Alright, two mas, dos mas. Mar. Have a good weekend, Jason. See you, you too, man. Deshaun Watson. How does Deshaun Watson do this weekend, guys? What do you guys think? And nice Damian Pierce. Number to 25. Houston. Jeff Gordon. Mark Chase Stargazing. We have Isaiah Spiller. And Garrett Wilson. Nice rookie premieres to 99. Jets going to Derwin. I expect him to be a little rusty. I just think it's such a big game. You know, playing against Houston. And, uh, I don't know. It's just, uh, I'm sure more people took Houston to actually win. There's more to Sean. James Cook. And nice Derek Johnson for the Chiefs. Chiefs having a great break on this side. Who do the Vikings play this week, Steve? I mean, Houston is still very terrible. Let's just not forget that. You know, only still have only like won one game. They've been in a couple games, though. Don't get me wrong. I don't know. I guess it all depends. Is this Jets defense going to stop Justin Jefferson and and just that Vikings offense? 
Well, the good thing, man, is that we still have another half. But like I said, I, I'm going to be nervous, too, for the second half if we don't get one here. Like, can the Jets keep on rolling with their defense like that every, week, every single week? Are we have a out of 100 Jerry Judy? We have a Michael Carter to 199. And Isaiah Spiller to 50. Yeah, that is true. CD Lamb. Chris Olave. And nice Breeze Hall. 3 out of 75. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Good luck. I think we might have to wait to the next case to get any case hit, I guess. Or next half, I should say. Justin Ross. And we got Damian Pierce, John Mechie. And last hit is going to be for the Ravens and Aaron Billingsley. That is Calais Campbell. Alrighty, guys. Well, we didn't see a glass on this side. I do still expect to see at least one of the case hits on that side, but I'm, I'm officially a little nervous. But obviously we don't know until we open up that second half but i expect a glass and hopefully an explosive and kaboom and just in general guys i mean we did get some good ones like garrett wilson damian pierce but i expect some better maybe rookie quarterbacks on that second half as well so i'm looking forward to that second half just to be a little nerve-wracking a little roller coaster of emotions but there you go guys um like i said second half is in the store i think we're down to one left if it's not sold out yet, it will be sold out by the time we go through orders and all that good stuff. And uh, let's get it going, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thank you.